Let's look at problem 70 from University of Physics by OpenStax. So when you're riding a bicycle and you're uh, making a turn, you lean your bike. And we're going to show that the angle is um, obeys a similar expression as that for a banked curve. Um, so let's analyze what's going on. We have the normal force from the road. Now the normal force is going to have two components. It's going to have a component into the circumference of the turn and a component up against gravity. So what we can see is that the x component of the normal force will have to be equal to my centripetal force and my y component will have to be equal to the force of gravity otherwise uh, the rider would fall uh, or would not make the turn Now I can find the nx and ny components because I have an angle. So nx, which would be this component, maybe blue wasn't the best choice for that. It's actually going to be related to the sign of that um, of that angle. So that's going to be n sine of theta. And that's because this side of the triangle is opposite to the angle. Similarly, and cosine of theta will be proportional to mg. And in this case, what I want to do is to find theta. Uh, what I can do is from these two equations, I can solve for n, and then set them equal to each other and have n disappear. So then I have that Sine of theta would be equal to mb squared oh, That's not what I meant to do Have that from equation 1 I would have that n is equal to mb squared over r sine of theta and from equation 2, I have that n is equal to mg over cosine of theta. So now I'm going to divide one equation over the other, and I will get either a tangent or an arctangent function, because I'll either have sine over cosine or cosine over sine. So let's do this equation over that equation. So mg over cosine theta divided by m b squared over r sine of theta has to be equal to 1. Because if I divide this over this, I should get the same as if I divide this over this. And n over n would be equal to 1. So I continue with my division. So then that's going to be equal to mg 
over cosine of theta times r sine of theta over mv squared. So we can cancel the m and we have gr sine of theta over b squared cosine of theta. Now sine over cosine is tangent, so I have gr over b squared times tangent of theta is equal to 1. So I can solve for theta. I will multiply b squared and divide by gr. So tangent of theta is equal to b squared over gr. And from there, all I need to do is take the inverse tangent function of both sides in order to find my angle theta. Okay, and thus we've completed part A. Um, then for part B, um, we, are, we just need to find a specific example um, for um, a turn of radius 30 and the speed of 12 meters per second. Alright, so then the angle would be the inverse tangent of 12 squared, which is 144, divided by 30 times 9.8. Let's put that in the calculator. 144 divided by 30 times 9.8 which is 0 0.48, 0 0.4897, etc. Uh, let's take the inverse tangent of that quantity. And I get 26.095 um, degrees. Uh, so I'll just put 26.1 degrees. Alright, hope that helped.